Well, good morning, South Florida. That's right, we're heading south into the concrete jungle known as South Florida. But we're gonna go try and find some bugs. Uh, we're actually going to Everglades National Park. So, Lorenzo, back there, buddy. It's a little early. It's a little early. We had a late night last night. We were working last night. Lorenzo helped me out on a job, so um, I had to earn a little extra cash so that we could do this trip. But we're going down to the Everglades, and guys, we are hunting for some of the tropical beauties that live in Everglades National Park. We're gonna see if we can find Florida leaf wings, Bartram's hair streak, the uh, Florida dusky wing. We'll see what else happens. We'll see what else we can find. All right, guys, Everglades National Park, we're here. It's President's Day and there was no traffic, which is beautiful. Uh, 8 a.m., we're here at a decent time. You know, if there was traffic, we wouldn't have gotten here until 9 a.m., but we flew right here. So this is, welcome to the Everglades, guys. We're gonna go pay our park entry and see if we can find some cool bugs. All right, long pine key, guys. We are coming into the last remaining stand of the Florida leaf wing. And uh, these pines right here, you gotta find the right place where the pines have their host plant, woolly croton, croton linearis. We're gonna do that. And uh, man, I hope we, can, hope we can find some stuff here. I've been here the last couple times I've tried. I have not found either the leaf wing or Bartram's hair streak, so it's kind of uh, frustrating since I've been on this photography videography kick. Have not been able to find these endangered butterflies, but this is this is where they live, guys. This is it. So let's get to it. Oh, look at that card. You getting ready, son? No, I'm tired. Tired. Yeah. But this is beautiful, isn't it? It is not a lot of people. Not, nobody. Not a lot of people. There's nobody. The cardinal. All right, guys. So here we are. Two There's cardinals. Two cardinals. You can hear the cardinals joshing along. Joshing, joshing along. All right, guys. Pine Rockland. Everglades National Park. Can, can we find... Some endangered butterflies, that is the question. I want to see if we can get some good video and photographs of Bartram's hair streak. This is kind of the epicenter right here, guys. Here we go. And now, I sprained my ankle yesterday, which is not good because this area is loaded with rocks. In fact, let me see if I can show you a good example. Um, this, yeah, the entrance is a good example, but this, this used to be coral reef. So this is all coral reef that was, I think after the ice age, uh, water levels receded. And now we have all this exposed rock and these pines and very few other plants. <laughs> uh, these these plants that live in this pine rockland have taken up refuge in this rocky substrate. But that's a terrible thing if you're trying to not sprain an ankle. So oh, something's eating the heck out of this. What is this? All right, leaf wings, show yourselves. <laughs> okay. So these rocks, these coral reefs, at one point in time, there were lobster chilling in that hole right there. But you gotta, you gotta take super care walking through this stuff here, guys. Oh my. All for the love of butterflies. The human ankle was not designed to walk on this, that's for sure. Oops. Butterfly number one, guys. 
Make sure that your shadow doesn't go on top of them. This is Oligoria maculata, the twin spotted skipper. Sipping on some thistle. There's a beaut. Oh yeah. This is a common butterfly here in South Florida. And I'm very gracious, grateful that he is allowing me to check him out while he's having his lunch. They love these thistles, guys. Thistle's a compound flower. And uh, there's a lot of nectar in those things. And butterflies absolutely love it. He's actually trying to open his wings up a little bit. Is there? Where? Hey, Flo. All right, now here, guys, on this. Did you see a butterfly? You didn't see it? No. Are you okay? Uh, well, I'm scoping out this orchid bee. How pretty is he? This is an exotic bee that lives here now, imported from Costa Rica. Apparently, the orchid bees love thistle as well. Look at him getting up in there. <laughs> How cool. Sweet. That's a pretty bee, isn't it? Yeah. It's cool. Cool bee. And it can't sting you? Uh, they can sting. They don't, but they, they can. It's not one that you have to worry about. All right, guys, no leaf wings yet, no Bartram's hair streaks yet. We're working on it. Here we are. This is opening up a little bit better here. That's a little bit better. It's a little bit better. Oh. <laughs> on the trail. Oh. Oh. On the trail, almost broke my ankle. Imagine going off the trail. And this is Croton linearis, the host plant for the leaf wing and Bartram's hair streak. It's a really <laughs> scrawny little plants in this habitat here, guys. And, you know, I don't, I don't know why. They, I know the croton plant needs wide open spaces. So if it's too overgrown, the, uh, the croton plant gets choked out by Is other... Is that one of the reasons why it's, it, it butterfly is almost extinct? Yes, exactly. So in, in Dade County and I would say in Monroe County as well, the croton plant just as the hammock plants start to grow up in these pines like the hardwoods grow up and they get thicker like we got wax myrtle in here a lot of stuff and we got some scrubby kind of oak stuff as that stuff gets bigger red bays it chokes out the the little croton plant we've only seen a couple of these little plants so far have not seen a lot i, I think this is actually starting to get grown up pretty a lot more than I think the croton plant would prefer. Oh, there he is. Faithful beauty, guys. It's the faithful beauty. Composia fidelissima. Our mascot. Oh, he flew way in there. Oh, crap. I am not going chasing him. Um, that's our first rare insect of the day. You know what? It's a, it's a positive. It's note. a positive note. Yeah. Like we actually saw a faithful beauty. Uh, it was it was taking nectar from the Smilax vine, which is a cool record. And there's, there's it's blooming. So the Smilax vine is blooming, and that's what the, he was drawn to. So that's cool. That's a good record, and we'll keep that in mind as we. Uh, Kind of walk through here and, and look for... Well, what is that? What? What do you see? Is that a wasp? No. There is, is a... Is poison oak? Yes, poison wood. Don't touch. Oh. <laughs> Dad, is this poison wood? <laughs> is this poison wood? Yeah, it is. All right, there's a moth. Another moth. That just landed on the back side of one of these leaves. Where are you? Where? Oh, I see it. It's right here. Where? Black one? Is it flying? Oh, what is that? 
Nah, it's like a white butt. It's got a, where'd it go? Oh. Yeah. Did it land? No. I still see it though. It's like, I don't think it was a polka dotted wasp moth. Are you sure? Yeah. Polka dotted wasp moth. Uh, okay, so we got two moths. That's a good sign. So we're actually seeing some life out here, which is good because crud, man. Finally. It's, finally, we got a, pol a polka dotted wasp I told moth. You, it's too early, Jack. Huh? They were asleep. I, to I told you. They, they were asleep. asleep? They were asleep? What? Well, let's keep looking. At least they have salt and vinegar chips in the car. <laughs> At least. <laughs> well, folks, this is, uh, it's been an hour and a half-ish. Lorenzo and I have walked a good mile and a half up this trail. And, and uh, we saw absolutely nothing. <laughs> well, we saw some good We stuff. saw one faithful beauty. It's the time that you spend doing it, you know? Yeah, it's very quality time. And did you learn anything? I learned not to come here with Crocs. Well, you know, I was about <laughs> to come with Crocs too, but... Uh, well, we're having our uh, wardrobe discussions on most appropriate ways to, uh, to come out to a place like this. But, uh, guys, we're not done yet. We're going to keep searching, but um, it's been... The first hour and a half has been challenging uh one faithful beauty one polka dot of wasp moth a trail cam oh hello trail cam hello trail cam hi we're on video uh we saw a twin spot skipper golf artillery and not a whole lot else so we're gonna keep we're gonna poke around and see if we can find some other pineland areas and see if there's any more hospitable areas for the butterflies that we're looking for um that's weird. So, all right, guys, uh, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Till next time. What? Oh, enjoy South Florida. Enjoy South Florida. I kind of forgot. <laughs> yeah, well, we got two YouTube channels. He was about to do our outro for the other one. That's okay, buddy. You know what? Thank you for your heart. It all revolves around nature, so we're, we're good. <sighs> Let's find some bugs. Ciao. He's wearing my hat. I'm wearing his hat. <laughs>